And what I'll do is I'll hit start and um, I'll walk you through the different stations as the factory operates. So the first thing that we're going to do is detect the size of the, the football. In this case, we're looking for a size five and we're actually measuring and counting the number of revolutions. As the elevator comes up, it'll trip at a sensor, it'll stop, and based on that count, we're able to tell it's a size five ball. The robot then will pick this up. And now we're going to loosely measure the characteristics of a size five football for the FIFA standard. So the first thing we're going to do is take the weight of the ball, which the robot is doing now. And once it completes the weight, it'll tell me if it's passed or not. In this case, it passed. And now we'll go and take a pressure measurement to see how much pressure is in the ball to see if that also passes the FIFA recommended inflation standard. Next, we'll go up to the top here, and there's a little uh, laser sensor. You can see the red dot on the ball, taking some measurements to see if the ball is actually round in circumference. In this case, it is. It passed. And now we'll go over to the drop station and drop the ball to make sure it bounces to a, a good height, which it did. Again, passing that. The next thing, just for fun, we've decided to uh, select a quadrant at the start of the, the process to kick the ball in. And within the goal mouth, there's a laser or light curtain that detects where the ball actually enters. And it verifies if what you selected, in this case was quadrant three, is what actually where the ball actually ended up going through. And it did in this case. Now what we're going to do is look for the logo, the maximum logo on the football. And once that's detected, it'll position the ball so that it'll uh, move it over to the laser printer station and write your name under the ball to customize it as a keepsake. And once it's done, it'll drop the ball in the drop station for you to, uh, to take home and enjoy. And again, this is all made possible by our third generation factory automation chipset which consists of 12 ICs and 20 different IOs to power the soccer or football factory here. It's our simple way of showing a smart factory in operation. Thank you.